So we'll start with the back. Uh, this is my first time doing it. I haven't done the other side yet, so this is a dry run. As I like to do all my videos, so it's pretty simple. It looks like this just hooks in to the trim here and uh, we'll just pop, there's a plastic, little plastic rivet there and a 10 mil, there's a 10 mil bolt right there, which uh, obviously corresponds to that. So we'll just use a little flathead screwdriver and I think that's all we're gonna need for this. It's a flathead screwdriver, maybe a 10 mil socket. There we go, pop that one. Pop that one. These come off, yeah, real easy. So yeah, these are, the replacement ones are a bit longer, so they'll push through it all. There we go. Get the 10 mil socket under here. That's tightening. So we have basic hand tools to do this one. Don't need much. We're going to be reusing this bolt, so hold on to that. Okay, now uh, let's look and see how this is going to line up. So we can pop this just in position and kind of see how that works. So that, like I said, there's a clip on the, well, it looks like a bit of a clip. I'm just going to stretch that out. There we go. Push it out. There we go. That's on there. And once that's on there, I think we're just going to have to, that's it, line up our holes and pushing the pin. So that's, oh, this is pretty easy. It doesn't come with instructions, but yeah. Use this video if you need to, that's gonna help you out. So let's get a new, longer push pin that they come with here. And get those in there. That's just gonna kind of line up there. Not exactly lining up, but there we go. That one's in. I'll get another one here. The holes are a little bit kind of elongated, which is nice. So you got a little bit of wiggle room. Keep dropping everything. There we go. In and in, and we can just kind of hand tighten these. Sometimes you can just push the, push it in. Now I do have a little screwdriver. I don't know if I can get in with the tire. Might need a bit of a shorter screwdriver, but quite often you can do these just by hand. Just can't get in there with that, but. Okay, I got them started. I'll grab a shorter screwdriver in a second, but let's get this 10 mil. So let's get that 10 mil securing bolt in. That just, you can see underneath the car here, goes right there. Wow, this is a pretty easy, very easy install. There we go, that's tight enough. No real torques back on that. Just get it snug because it's just in the plastic. You don't want it to go crazy. Okay, let's get that other screwdriver. A little stubby and we'll tighten those uh, screws up. With this little guy, lots of room. Right in there. It's easier, there we go, easier just to push them. Push. That is the rear mud flap installed. So yeah, these Aero Roche flaps are pretty easy. Now we're gonna tackle the front and that should be just the same. Might have to turn the wheel so we get a little bit more clearance, easy enough. So 
So looking at the front mud flap, easy. So we just have two holes and that same little side clip. So those holes correspond with one, two push pins. So we'll take those out with our flathead screwdriver and then clip it on. There's a little bit, you can see a bit of a slot always on one side of these, so that makes it easy to get a screwdriver in there. Pop, that's out. Yep, and that one's out and under there somewhere. Okay, let's line that up. So we just need to line up Now we're just lining up those holes, but we'll clip this on first. So on this top part, it's got to bend it a little bit. Just, that's it, right over. And you can slide it into position where it needs to be. Okay, got the pins. Get that one started first. Yeah, right in there. Push. <laughs> that one in. Come on, where are you? in, push, done. Front mud flap on. Okay, what is that, like four minutes? So this whole car would take about 10 minutes. Now you can see there, nice, nice and slim, very well fitting. Very happy with those. So yeah, so we've got a Eddie 20, you'll see it here, coupon, 20% off for this stuff, and then the other stuff in the site as well. They even have it, see it's molded there. It kind of has a little bit kicks out for the bottom of the door. But yeah, very happy with the fitment there. Okay, we'll get the other side done and we'll show you what it looks like on the other side, kind of without the shadow, but very quick and easy job.